Well, it's time to get my garden cleanup started. I'll take you around and let you see what I've got going on and you'll see how much work I've got yet to do. Welcome to This and That with Denise Jordan. I teach women how to make wise home health and beauty decisions so there's less chaos in their homes, they lead healthier lives, and they feel beautiful from the inside out. And today we are starting my garden cleanup. So this is really the first really nice day we've had. So let's just get out and do a little walk around so you can see what I've got to do. This is the front of my house. You can see my porch there. And I've got to cut back that fountain grass there and rake out some of the leaves that are in there but my little dianthus is are growing back nicely so that's good but I've got to get this bed cleaned up get it remulched for some reason I never have luck with getting my mums to grow back so this is a mum right here but as you can see it's pretty much dead and I've got to fill this planter here, fill that planter there. Sometimes I'll get petunias that'll come back in there, but we'll just have to see what's what. But And then of course, get a pot put there, get this ivy cleaned up and raked out. I always put a large pot right here, and I put flowers there that like the sun, because you can see how the sun comes in and hits that pot, and something will go in there. And then I'll end up with some planters down here. This large one will hold something, not sure what yet. And then there'll be pots on top of this crate. So on this end of the front, I've got this area to clean up over here. I cut this tree back last year. Actually, we had a guy that helped us with some yard work and he cut it back. And he was a little bit more uh, vigorous with it or aggressive, I should say, than I expected. That black pot there, though, usually goes in one of those other large pots on the porch, so we'll see what happens with that. But all of this has got to get cleaned up, and then all of this has got to get cleaned up. This is just a little rose of Sharon tree, and it doesn't bloom very early. It blooms quite late, but it has beautiful purple flowers on it when it does. So I've got to clean up the area around it, clean up the stone areas here, and then I have a nice little flower garden that I usually have over here. So it's gonna need some work. You can see where the lilies are, the Stelladora lilies are growing back in, but there's some ivy behind them and some other stuff. That's gotta come out. The thistles have gotta come out. So these beds are really gonna require quite a bit of work. And then on this end of the house is what I call my pink garden. So I have a, another one of those kind of a burgundy bushes that grows right here. And again, he was really pretty aggressive with it when he cut it back. My husband loved it, but I wasn't real thrilled. I put different kinds of pink flowers that typically come back. And then I also have some columbines, which are a nice shade of pink and lavender. And you can see the columbines there starting to come up. So they're usually in this area here. And then over here I have some um, lilies that I've planted and they come up every year. They tend to be kind of a yellow so you can see where they are. Then I've got some other weeds that have grown in here, some few columbines. So this is a flower bed that needs to have some love as well. So now we'll walk around to my back patio and you can kind of see where my bird feeders are. And this is my bird garden. So in this area here, and it's a hot mess right now, but you can see where some of the things that I planted are coming back. So that pot over there, my husband bought some kind of weird water holes last year and he put it inside that pot. It just really collapses pretty much in there. And these are coming back and I forget what they are. I'll have to figure that out. But they're nice deep burgundy plants they get really tall so there's one there and there's one there but you can see all of the mess in here that I've got to clean out and then I have this pot of herbs that's coming back and there's some thyme that's growing down there that also um, looks like it needs a little bit of love too and there's my stone that says Martha doesn't live here for those of you that don't know the reference Martha Stewart but all of this cleaning up needs to happen. And like I said, it's just been too chilly to even be outside. So 
today is a good day. Usually in this flower garden, I have a lot of annuals. I did put in a couple perennials, but we'll see whether or not they wintered over. I tend to like um, Coreopsis. And they tend to come back sometimes. I don't know, sometimes I get good luck, sometimes I don't. And then I love sunflowers. And so my bird feeders tend to drop a lot of sunflower seeds. So I end up with sunflowers growing in through here as well. So this is my bird garden here. And then over here along this side of the house, I have a lot of daisies that come up. And uh, one year I made the mistake of planting lemon balm. Well, every year now I have to try to dig it out. But this area in here is usually pretty much filled in with uh, daisies and black-eyed Susans. I did have a... Um, rows of Sharon Bush that was over here but it didn't run her over very well so looks like I'm gonna be digging that out and replacing it with something else and these little shrubs in front of this Arbavita doesn't look as if they went her over very well either we'll see it's still pretty early here and then these day lilies here come back every year and they do nicely right along here along the side of the house I did try putting some columbines here as you can see some of them are springing back up but I just put a few things here something that's kind of hardy because we do have rats that are a problem and then coming back around toward the front of the house I have a large green shrub or some kind of bush I don't even know what it is and then the ivy that grows in here and I like this because it provides coverage and foliage for the birds and then we're back around to the front of the house. So I've got another area in the back that I call my fruit tree island, which some of the fruit trees that I planted there are no longer there, but I just still call it that. And that's over here. And this here is my large ornamental pear. And when I planted it, it was much smaller than what it is now. My husband says it's a waste because it doesn't grow real pears. He's like, what good is a pear tree that doesn't grow pears? But it's beautiful and it provides a lot of oh, comfort for the birds in the area. You know I like birds. And then that apple tree there needs some kind of pruning. And I had some people prune it last year, but by the time I got them out here, it had overgrown. So I, I had a health incident last year, so I wasn't, just, wasn't able to get out here. Things just kind of got away. This thing here, the bird's planet. I don't know what it is, I didn't plant it. I did have a weeping cherry tree right here where you see these um, Stelladora lilies coming up. And one day my husband decided to help me out and trim it because it was just falling off everywhere. Well, that killed it. And so we ended up having to take it out and then the bird's planet, whatever that is. And this is my last garden spot that I have to address. I did have a another rose of Sharon tree back here it was right there and it lasted for about 10 years and then it just died out so I had um, one of the yard men take it out and then I had a beautiful mulberry tree that was right here you can see part of the remnants of it right there and the city came and cut it because it had gotten so tall that it was into that wire and so they cut it down then they came back to make sure that it wasn't growing back so I've got work to do here so this area looks a hot mess there's some kind of ground cover that's growing in here which I try to keep out my girlfriend gave me some of these uh, day lilies and there was a few little strands of that ground cover in there and I keep pulling it out and it keeps growing back so you can see what I've got and then these are squirrel feeders here we put corn cobs out here and the squirrels like to get those so that's what I'm looking at right now as far as the work that I've got to get done so I will quit talking and get it started <music> 